Hey there, this is John, and I'm going to show you a Viking Automatic Type 21 machine that I've got here. I picked this up from St. Vincent de Paul, and surprisingly it came out of their metal recycling dumpster. So when I got it, it was missing the foot controller and the little side door that goes on over here. But other than that, it's in surprisingly good condition. Uh, it says zigzag machine, and I'll just show you the knobs. <coughs> this is the left center right position for the needle. Uh, stitch length, forward and reverse. And here is the zigzag width. This little knob is the, uh, the feed dog drop. So when the little uh, indicator is down, feed dogs don't pull through. And you rotate that up and the feed dogs again uh, pull the material through. I have the side cover off here because I wanted to show the two-speed transmission that this thing has which is a nifty little gadget. It's got the motor back here which goes to an intermediate pulley and then there's another pulley inside that has a belt that goes up to the, uh, the crankshaft. So to run high speed uh, this little knob is pushed in the way it is now and to go low speed you pull it out and that gears it down it's either 3 to 1 or 5 to 1, I can't remember what. But it's uh, pretty neat. So we push it in and it'll go high speed. Let me just run it for you here. This is normal speed. And we pull it out and it should go low speed. So that's pretty neat. I didn't know it had that when I first got it. I didn't know anything about biking uh, when I first got it. It just happened to be there in the metal recycling bin. So the foot controller was gone. I this Kenmore control <coughs> motor control was in the dumpster at the same time. So I just wired it up. I soldered on a couple of these tabs that go into the They plug into the back here where the normal foot control usually goes. So those just stay in there. I don't think that. There we go. This is the light switch. Light worked and everything, too. I was surprised. Had a foot on it, had everything there except for the motor control and that little side cover, like I said. You can open it up here and see the internal workings. This has a belt that goes from the crankshaft here down to uh, the, the mechanism, mechanism down below. So we can start that going again. And you can see the thing working. Now another interesting thing about this is it has a cam here that has uh, five levels on it. And we just flip it around to the front again and I can show you right here this knob <coughs> has this little chrome piece on it and that has five different settings. So you want zigzag, you're all the way in. You want another decorative pattern, you come out one, come out two, three, or four. So you have plain zigzag and then uh, four other patterns. And I've got a swatch here that shows what those patterns are. Not much to see at this end. It's too bad that cover was missing though. But all in all, it's in uh, pretty good shape for being pulled out of a dumpster. So this cam, this is uh, an A cam that came with it. And I don't know how many other ones came with it, but uh, 
this comes out, you pull this little lever down, and then this slides out, and you can put other cams on. And pulling that chrome lever on the other side just slides that in and out. And then there's a little guy over here that when you turn the zigzag knob, that drops into the cam, and so then it starts going following each one of these ridges. So that's got a a lot of interesting features on this Husqvarna Type 21 made in Sweden. So I'm going to set it up to sew here in just a minute. So I, I'll load the boppin in first. It uh, looks to be a kind of a proprietary bobbin case. It's got a little finger lock there. Reminds me a lot of an old rotary, new home rotary type of bobbin holder. So that should snap right in there. And then we'll put our thread on the back. down through the tension disc, up through the check spring, down through this guy. Well, now it's going to be difficult. Come on, there we go. Okay, we have both threads out. Close that up again. Get my handy dandy piece of material here. And we'll just do a straight stitch to start. Center, we'll just do we'll do left side. And kind of a medium stitch length. Here's forward and here's reversed. Whoa. That really goes reverse, doesn't it? Okay, why don't we do a pattern? Go back to the middle. Uh, I think five is a zigzag, so we'll just give that a try. We'll go real fine stitch length here. Pretty good job. So we'll try a different pattern. We'll go all the way out to one. Oops, I shouldn't have done that when the needle was down. Very quiet machine when it's running. Yeah, it looks like it's don't know what they call that, but it's working well. Let me 
me try switching it there, see if what anything happens different. Oop. Well, I just lost my thread. What happened there? Don't know. Is the bottom still up? Yep. Well, I guess it didn't like that side, did it? Threaders, shouldn't I? Here we go. So we'll try number three. See what that gives us. Be a, a triple zigzag, is it? Yeah, that's hitting three times across every zigzag. I don't know what they call that stitch, but. And we'll try left needle position. Middle and right needle position. Runs very smoothly. We'll do it on low gear here. A little noisier, but if you're doing some really delicate work, you can slow it way down. Viking Automatic Type 21. Thank you for watching.